Oh, hello, my peeps. I am sorry I am late. Much like myself, my computer was running a little slow this morning. Um, so it is Tracy, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher here. And I am here today with the inaugural episode of Products on Parade. And I will confess, I feel a little bad about the products I picked for today because they're celebration products, which means the only way to get them is to buy other product and earn these for free. And it's two pieces. But in my defense, <laughs> they are so, so cute. And I was using them, <clears throat> excuse me, for another project. And as you can tell by the mess on my desk, these are like hot off the press, everything I've been doing here. Um, because I've just, it's been this terribly busy. So uh, I, I wanted to show you, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to get my, uh, I'm trying to get my comments up at the same time. Um, that's part of the delay is my computer is so slow to react to everything. The amount of time it took just so that I could um, turn the sound off on my computer so I didn't get the feedback. It was just phenomenal. Okay, I have comments now, there we go. All right, hello everybody. Okay, so if you are in the Trailblazer sampler swap and you do not want a spoiler alert on what my square looks like, turn away now. <laughs> but this is what all, this is how it all started. I need to do this, and, I, and then my deadline is looming because I'm behind on everything. So what we have is a group of people, and we make these the little samplers. You've seen me make samplers before, and everybody makes a square, and then you send it to eight other people, and then you have nine squares. And so this was our summer theme. So here's my square. Now it's just this square. I'm putting just a piece of white behind it just to make it easier. So this is my hippo, and she's got waves, and she's got a snorkel. <laughs> And she's coming out of the water. And you know what I was actually thinking when I made this square was, <clears throat> you know, in the James Bond movie where Daniel Craig walks out of the water in his little blue bathing suit and how, anyways, that's where it all started. <laughs> but this is my square. And I think that this hippo is so adorable. So I even put window sheet in her little, um, her little snorkel goggles to get a little bit of a thing. So this is how it all started, right? I, I made this and I had them out and I was having so much fun. I'm like, I have to make more things. So with these squares, you can make them into samplers, but it's also, you'll notice I made a different one. I started out doing this too, thinking, oh, I'll add to it. Okay, I'm gonna take this away now. So anybody, sorry, anybody who's doing the sampler, you can look back now. Um, the dyes alone are worth this, but there's so many nautical related ones. And so I was gonna make a card to like put on this dude, but in the end, I, I ended up going somewhere else. So here's what I will tell you, hippest hippos, and the hippo dies. I like to, like I said, hot off the presses, as you'll notice, I haven't even cleaned my stamps and put them away yet. So there's normally a full stamp set here with big hippos that are just long blocks. And then look at these dies. Look how many dies you get and look at what they all do. And I will show you, but I'll show you this first because that's only where you're gonna see the stamps because the rest aren't on there. So here's how this works. It's in the celebration catalog, or catalog, which I cannot open and show you the inside of it. Well, I've opened it, but I can't show you the inside of it until the 1st of July. So you have to wait for a little bit longer. And normally I would wait till closer to when you could get this. Like I said, I feel like, tor like I'm just teasing you terribly today, but so when you buy $60 worth of product, you get a free item. And some items you need to buy $120 worth of product because they're bigger, like the tree lock dies. Oh, you wait till I show you those ones. In this case, the, the stamp set is one item. So we buy $60 worth of stuff, you get to pick the stamp set. Buy another $60 worth of stuff, you get to pick the dies. Now the dies normally come in their own like separate little one of these. But like I said, this is how I store mine. I, I take the little back out, I put it in there. I put my little piece of magnet. So I have stamps on one side, dies here. I have both pieces. So when I'm trying to figure out, especially on a set like this, it says there's 19 pieces here. So I know it later if I'm missing one. And so this is just way easier to work. So yes, it is a celebration product. And yes, you do have to earn them. But if you've seen the new holiday catalog, which I've dropped off a couple and I have more to go, uh, you will know that yeah, it's not hard to um, earn celebration stuff. There's so many cool things in there. So I'm gonna leave my square off to the side um, because I, I don't wanna keep teasing the people that might be watching this and spoil their alert. So I did make some cards though. And I did have some fun. And then I'm going to show you some dice. 
So remember I told you I wanted to like put the square in the middle and, and um, put like the nautical stuff around it. I really liked the sentiment though, the one that says, oh, you really are the best. And so I had to, and I like the hippie flowers. So I had to make a stamp set that went with this. So this is just the tea boutique paper, which you know I love, and the little die cuts and the little hippo. And basically all I did was stamp her on Smoky Slate, like on the gray, and she's just so cute. Put a little flower, put a little bow around her bouquet, away we go, right? It's adorable. I think it's adorable. <laughs> um, so that's one of the hippos. Um, I, I used all three of the hippos. These are, there, there's so much more you can do with this, but but seriously, I couldn't get past the hippos. They're so cute. Um, this is my other card. <laughs> because when I, and I had to, this is from the happy and heartfelt. And it's got some great sayings in there. There's one saying in the stamp set that says, heck yeah. Um, oh, there's a great one. But this one, this being awesome is just your thing. So I really quite like this one. But when I first saw this, I realized that she's intended to be ballerina. You can see she's wearing her little, her little toe shoes, but um, I saw tip through, <laughs> tiptoe through the tulips is what I saw. <laughs> so she is tiptoeing through the tulips. This paper is about to um, retire at the end of the month. I love this tulip paper. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So I thought this card was like fun and colorful and I really liked it. And she's got this adorable, these are one of the new little embellishments, this adorable little flower in her hair. So that was one of my other little hippos. And then I did see somebody and I, I can't actually remember if she if she used the hip. Oh wait a minute, sorry. I, I'm holding this in my hand, thinking, "What's did I tell you?" Um, this this hip always stamped on white and then colored with the blends. Oops, let me see if I can make that focus again. Um, because I thought this 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 hippo oddly was just too gray for the card. So that's the difference. Just to give you an idea, um, sometimes it works perfectly. Like on the other card, it works perfectly, and I think on my square it works perfectly. Um, it just depends on the background, but in this one, um, it wasn't as, it wasn't as, and I, and I, I just colored this green because I was curious to know if I could, like, how it would affect the color if I colored on the gray card stuff, but, um, but yeah, this one I just, I got, maybe it's because it's got the little white trim instead of gray, but I got a better look for what I wanted, stamping in white and coloring with blends, and I did stamping it directly on the smoky stick. Okay, so then the other lady, and I don't know if it was the hippo that she actually used, but I saw a card and it, all, all I remember from the card is she put the glasses on and she drew a beard <laughs> and, and the thing that said, you're so hip. So kudos to whoever that lady is. And I have no idea because I like, it was just sort of saw it in passing and it, it resonated. So then today when I went to make these and I was trying to do something with this. So the funny thing is I see these two as girls. I don't know why. And this could be like a, a, just a shy guy giving a flower, right? It's not like it has to be. But this is what instantly came to mind. This dude, just the way walking, I don't know. I kind of saw a guy. So that combined with the you're so hip <laughs> made me come up with this card. <laughs> Which amuses me terribly. Now, there's all sorts of new stuff in here, but um, these are actually carried over from before. I love these little black dots. I freehanded the cup, and in hindsight, um, I should have um, put the cup on before I put the hip hippo one so I could have shifted everything over so the cup had more white behind it but you'll notice the handle of the cup yeah the handle of the cup is a half of a pair of glasses Ta -da! <laughs> I cut it in half I just free free formed this cup like it was easy just to cut a shape um this is his lovely little glasses and then this um, Buffalo check looking paper in the background is uh, actually from the new, there's a new pack of paper that comes, you get 48 sheets. It's this huge pack of gingham paper, which if I can do everything without knocking it over. Ta-da! It's this huge pack of paper and it's got all sorts of different colors. So we've got some grays, we've got some good Halloween stuff there with the, that's kind of green. We've got orange and black, that's gray and white. We have some pink and white black, some reds, some yellows. Those are, I think, kind of a reddish. Actually, it looks more like a little aged cream, so I'll have to look that up. And then the black and white. So this is the backside of the black and white. And all I did was take my trusty blending brush and over the white. Ta-da, Buffalo Jack. 
Um, so this gingham paper is going to be a godsend. Like there's so many things you can do with it. And there's because there's so many that are black and white or lighter colors, um, it's amazing what you can do when you have a blending brush and some paper. So here's my other little dude. <laughs> and it amuses me. It, it, it like super amuses me. So those are my three hippo parts. Now, I did start, <laughs> but I ran out of time. Let's, let's, let's be honest, full disclosure. I did start and I was going to make a card. There's so many pieces to things though. So I was going to make a card that had nothing, like that had no hippos on it. I was just, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a card that has like just nautical elements to it and put some like seize the day or some kind of thing on it. I must be shaking because this thing's not holding still. Um, and I got so distracted by everything. So I'll show you the rest of the dies as we go, just so you can see what they make. So obviously we have the life boy, or if you're in this house, you have to say like boy, because everything is boy, which I found is spelled B-O-I, boy. Um, fun fact about the life boy, what I did uh, when you stamp or when you die cut the life, the, the little boy out, you end up with a hexagon shaped middle that pops out. So for some reason you need a stop sign, boom, there you go. These little water droplets are adorable. And those are the kind of thing you want to put adhesive backing on so you can make them just like a sticker. But, and this is, I was just cutting scraps out of stuff. Um, but you could also put, like I could have this blue card and this is, this is where it all went awry. Cause I had, I started with dots and then I had this idea. Start with the blue card, put a white strip across it, cut some of these holes with this. So my white strip over top, the blue would show through, right? So then I'm not keeping track of the little pieces. I'm just cutting a bunch of holes. So then, I mean, then my mind went and off it went and I never finished. But anyways, there's that. Um, oh, there you just saw the inside. Ooh. So this is a little uh, skiff and a little propeller. And I'm not sure why I can't get it to focus. And let's see how close can I get. Sometimes it works. Anyways, there's embossing on the side of the boat, so it looks like panels. I can't make it work, but trust me, it's there. So we have that. Um, I'm just use, I'm using labels just to hold things because there's lots of little bits and pieces in here. There is um, a, the one of the dies makes these three little hearts. Same thing. You could punch out the hearts, which would make great little shaker cards or whatever. But you can also um, just like punch through the thing so the hearts show through. This one is meant to be a splash. I think if you did it in green, it would look like a plant. I think if you did it in orange, it would look like fire. I think it's got lots of opportunities. This is a little birthday hat and oops, I keep going on screen. Oh, hello, Dana. Um, so th there, there's also embossing. I can't make the fine, I can't make the fine focus work. Oh, oh, there we go, almost. You can see a little embossing on it. Um, at first I thought this was a flower and you probably could use it as a flower or like a little starburst, but I think it's intended to be, so I'm trying I'm trying so hard to hold still that I can't do anything. I think it's intended to be the pom-pom on the birthday hat. So there's some more of the dies. And then <laughs> there is, this set just keeps going. There is a uh, bucket. This is not a bucket, a tub. Um, oh, yeah, you can. I didn't. I didn't actually poke out the two little pieces there on the handles, but you can see there's more embossing along here and a little bit of embossing on the bottom. We have an umbrella with some embossing on it. Um, we have this, the glasses. I was going to show you something with the glasses. When you cut die cut the glasses out, they actually cut out with two little like middle pieces. So. I, I put adhesive backing on these things, right? So this is this adhesive sheet. You can see how it's kind of white on the back. So that basically turns it into a sticker. So you put it on the back of your cardstock before you run it through the die cut machine. And then once you come out, everything that's die cut is basically a sticker. So when you cut this, in order to make sunglasses instead of just cool black glasses, you just got to put the two pieces back in. And my suggestion for that is, Put this, like put the outline of the sunglasses kind of where, roughly where you want it on. This is my demo piece here. Um, roughly where you want it on your hippo's face, right? So if you, oh, I just dropped on enough. So if you decided this is where the sunglasses are going to go, 
right? So put it on, like peel your little backing off, put it on and just very lightly <laughs> tap it down. And then peel the backings off and put your two like middle pieces in. And then just kind of squish them all together because it's very possible when you put your little glasses down to kind of stretch them a little or pull them a little out of whack. And if you do, you'll end up with little spots around the lenses. But if you put them down kind of rough, like just kind of like rough fit it and then put the lenses in, um, then you will get a much tighter fit and then your sunglasses will be solid black. And this is really hard. I'm like balancing this eight inches above the table, I'm trying to hold on, trying not to shake it up the far. Wow, there we go. And then you end up with an even hipper penguin in, or penguin, hippo in the sunglasses. So there's that die. And then there's another die, it's very tiny. I'll show you in here. It's very tiny, right up there. And it cuts out three little stars. Now, if you wanted to make um, confetti to make like a shaker card or something, boom, there's some teeny tiny stars you can have. But again, I think you could just put this on your card and then depending what the background color is, it will show through as stars. So if I was making a nighttime card and I wanted to make some stars, I would like throw in a bunch of these die cuts into the top layer and then just put yellow underneath, right? Because then the stars just shine through. Much easier than trying to stick down those teeny tiny stars. And then, okay, sorry, I gotta show you again because I, uh, oh, here, I can use it. I can use it on my partially made one. So this is part of the sampler alert. So again, if you don't wanna see the sampler pieces, um, don't look now. Okay, so here's, here's just the part. There, here's a, a, a trick of the thing too. You don't need to make the entire hippo and do a whole bunch. She just needs to be popping out of the water. So I only like stamp arms up on this hippo. But you notice how I made, <laughs> can't make it focus, there we go. So you can see the, you can see the piece of window sheet in there that makes it look like glass on her, on her snorkel mask. Um, you see how she's got the outline of the snorkel mask though. This is what comes out of there when you cut it. So if you wanted to make it look like a VR headset, I think that would work. I also think that this little piece that's left over looks like um, a game controller. Like it's the shape of a game controller. So by the time I'm done making all of these, I have this whole like schwack of game controller pe looking pieces. And I might make a card that just like has all the game controllers down the side and maybe a picture of the, like these little like, I'll make them in black though. Or maybe I'll leave the red ones, but they kind of look like that. And then you could put like a VR headset on it. So yes, if you think, oh, I look, it's a cute hippo set. It is a cute hippo set. It's a super cute hippo set. I'm gonna throw this piece just back here in the corner again. Wow, it's so cute. Um, but there's so much more you can do with this set. And look, seriously, look at the dies, <laughs> the dies alone. Oh my goodness. So this set is available to order on the 1st of July, again, sorry, but it is a celebration set. So go into the holiday catalog, find a bunch of stuff you want, order that stuff, get this for free. Ta-da, hippest hippos. And uh, trust me, you will enjoy yourself. I'm not even done yet. I just, this is all the time I had so far. So again, there's my little sampling piece. I'll take them out. We have our hip hippo. We have our awesome tiptoe through the tulips hippo. And we just have the really the best hippo flower child. So I hope you like that. A little bit of product on parade, a few little tips for you as we go, a couple little techniques thrown in. Who knows what I may come up with. Um, if there's a particular set you wanna see something to made with, let me know. Um, I do have a fair amount of stamping stuff. Um, if it's in any of the current catalogs, let me know. And I will, um, I will do my best to show you how to use it. There are some um, items like, if, I mean, if you, if blending brush, if that's the product you want to know, let me know. I'll show you how to use a blending brush. Um, I love to play. I will, I love to play. You let me know what you want me to play with and I will play with it for you. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to start picking things that I'm having fun with and uh, make some cards and show them to you. So there you go. Here's another thing for you. I, I look at this now and I'm thinking, this is, this is a class. So before I go and like add another class into the schedule, because my schedules are really tight for the summer already, um, I'm curious if people would be interested in buying 
or like signing up for a class that involves at least a $60 purchase because you would have to have at least $60 to get the stamp set so you could do the stamping stuff. I could pre die cut some stuff for you, but I can't pre stamp. So you'd need to have your own hippo stamp set. I want to know how you make your dimensional folder. Oh, perfect. I will show you that on the, uh, you know what, that maybe that might be, um, that might be Wednesdays. So that's what she's talking about. Um, that might be Wednesdays. I'll show you, maybe I'll show you that. It's a, it's actually a fairly quick project. Um, but maybe I'll show you that and another, another 3D item or something on Wednesday on the, on the show and tell, because I, I like to make stuff in. So yes, Dana, I'm going to put that down for Wednesday. Um, yeah. You'd have, you'd have to you'd have to pay the sixty dollars worth of product to get the hippo set to make the cards, and I, like I said, I could do all the other stuff for it. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking card idea because when I made these three cards, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and then if I ever finish the fourth one, which is the nautical one, then we'd actually have four cards. I might even throw in a fifth one. You know, one never knows. So stay tuned. Feedback on that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to keep these ones, the Friday ones, rather short so I don't take up your entire Friday lunch hour because um, you got weekend plans to make. But I'm trying to get my hippos closer to the camera. Whoa, that's going to be the ending shot. Hip hippos, they're the cutest. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great Friday. I'm looking forward to a demo event tomorrow, um, Father's Day on Sunday, and rare to go again for next week. Um, Take care, everyone. Have a great, uh, a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.